There is a moment in the movie when Atabai hits his nephew severely, the dearest person to him, and very soon regrets and wants to cry, but resists crying. This contradiction in the feelings of a man is what we see throughout the movie. How fragile a man can be despite his tough appearance. Atabai is a movie of male emotions, including anger, hatred, disappointment, hope, and eventually love. As it has been written in his posters, only love will save us. Nikki Karimi, who is a great actress in Iranian cinema, now is a director. She and the lead actor Hadiye Jazifa, who plays Atabai, collaborated in writing the script. While watching, it's completely clear that Nikki Karimi is impressed by two contemporary directors, Abbas Kiarostami and Nuri Bilgejelan, particularly by two masterpieces, Kiarostami's Where is the Friend's House and Jelan's Winter Sleep. There are rare movies made in Iran which use local languages such as Turkish, Kurdish, or Arabic. Almost all of Atabai's dialogues are Turkish, which aren't understandable for most of the Iranians. For English or international audiences, this distinction is impalpable, but for Iranians, it's a fresh sense. Kazem, nicknamed Atabai, has been almost devastated by his sister's suicide 15 years ago. His sister was married to an old man, although she was in love with another man, Yahya, Atabai's friend. In Atabai's life, there is another significant woman, one of his college classmates, whom he loved but couldn't have a relationship with. As a villager, his classmates made fun of him, and because of that, he lost his self-confidence. Until he decided to leave the college, he is now an architect in his village, managing a tour, bringing people to the village, and consequently causes the villagers to earn money. Within one of the tours, he falls in love with a woman named Sima. In fact, she is the third woman who affects Sotabai. The mystery of Farrukh Lahad's suicide, Atabai's sister, is the cruelest thing which has engaged Atabai for many years. The truth was revealed in an engrossing scene when Atabai and Yahya lied in front of the Ormia lake, drank together and talked about the past. Atabai was surprised when her his sister committed suicide because of Yahya. Yahya explained he and Farrukh Lahad met each other secretly after Farrukh Lahad's marriage, and once he told Farrukh Lahad he wants to marry his cousin. Then Farrukh Laga threatened to set herself on fire, which she did. Before Yahya's words, Atabai thought the cause of his sister's death was her husband, Parviz, who remarried another woman. But finally Atabai found the truth he was looking for. Knowing the main reason of his sister's suicide helps Atabai decide logically. He lets Parviz meet his son, hiding after yes. Also, Atabai's love for Sima makes him kind and emotional. He's about to forget his intense hatred of everyone in the village and replace that with love and friendship. At the end, Sima leaves and Atabai again becomes alone. Will Atabai return to his former unpleasant suffering situation? I don't think so. He didn't achieve true love, but at least experience it for a while, which is enough to be a better man. Even though the movie contains various roles, it lacks the ability to develop characters. Except Atabai, we have little information of other characters. Yahya, Aydin, and Sima are other significant roles who have influences on Atabai, but none of them is explained enough. Why didn't Yahya take Farukh Lagha's threat seriously? Why doesn't Aydin get angry with his uncle despite his ruthless behavior? And why didn't Sima give Atabai even a chance to prove himself? Basically, the love between Atabai and Sima needs more time to be created. Everything takes place very soon, their love and their separation. There are also two characters who seem entirely redundant. They are like ghosts, appear and disappear suddenly. Papal, whom Atabai trusts most in the village, and Jairan, who insists on getting married to Atabai. We don't know why Atabai trusts Papal or why a young girl like Jairan wants to marry a middle-aged, fretful man. The movie leaves many questions unanswered. With considering all of these points, I give the movie 2 out of 5. Despite some notable parts, of this movie has a flawed plotline. The relationships between characters are vague and unstable. We can sympathize with Atabai, his corrective behavior and goals. He seems to have a mental illness. His moods change rapidly. Sometimes he is angry, sometimes laughs, but after that very soon gets disappointed. At the beginning, he counts the numbers 21, 31, 41, 51, etc. Later, we find out these numbers are supposed to be his age at death, which his mother told him in dream, but he doesn't remember the exact number. The only thing he remembers is the second part of that number, which is 1. At the end of the movie, Atabai again starts counting. He thinks again of death. Throughout the movie, Atabai's pessimistic view of life hasn't changed, in stark contrast to the film's message of love as a savior. 
Thanks for watching and please subscribe to help me improve my channel.